Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We're back with the last part of our three-part iPhone 5S review. And we're gonna review today is the thing you can't actually see, which is the new M7 motion processor. And the best way to describe this processor is pretty much a pedometer that lives inside the phone uh, that even when you're not using an app to record your motion, uh, it is keeping track of what you're doing. You know, how many steps you're taking, uh, whether you're driving a car, whether it's idle, it has the ability really uh, to very finely figure out exactly what it is you are doing at any given time. And there is, of course, some uh, privacy concerns with that as always. This is another thing that uh, if you find an app that makes use of that processor, uh, the app is going to, actually the iPhone operating system is going to prompt you uh, as to whether or not you want to allow that app to see that private information. So I did find a little app called Argos that I'm gonna show to you real quick here. And uh, it's kind of a neat thing because I, I didn't have it installed when I first got the iPhone 5S, uh, but now I do. And what's neat is that it will automatically ping that chip and fill in the number of steps that I took today. I think I, I, need, I gotta work out a little bit more here today, I think. Um, but you can see uh, it has uh, that data. Now I installed the app yesterday, so this is uh, yesterday's total. Uh, what was interesting though is that uh, it went way back in time to uh, right before, I, right when I got the phone. So this is the day before I got the phone, this is the day after. And it recorded uh, basically all my steps even before I had an app that uh, could really communicate with that processor. So it's kind of a, a neat thing that your phone, your iPhone 5S is, is basically uh, working as a Fitbit, one of those pedometer things that you can uh, use to track yourself. What's nice about the M7 processor is that it doesn't require a lot of power. So in the past, if you were running Argus on a prior version of the iPhone, uh, it would take a lot of battery power because the app would have to run in the background and it would also make use of the accelerometer and the gyroscope to try to figure out uh, when you were taking steps and when you weren't. And that really had a battery hit. The M7 is a very low power device that kind of runs in the background. It's part of the, the base hardware and base operating system. So uh, it really doesn't take a power hit at all, which gives uh, a whole bunch of new possibilities for uh, tracking things, or at least your movement on the iPhone, provided you uh, provide that permission first. So I think we're gonna see a lot of neat stuff coming out of this chip in the future, and uh, we'll keep an eye out. And if I find any other interesting apps, I will share them with you. This is Lon Seidman, thanks for watching.